So in this video, we are going to quickly do the sign test. This is the question, and as always, if you want to pause it and have a go yourself before you see the solution, you can do so now. And if you can't remember how to do it, the link to the sign test video is at the top of the screen, so you can have a look at that to remind you how it's done. So firstly, we have to work out the signs for each pair. There are a couple of ways that you can do this, but we're going to work out the difference between the two columns by subtracting column B from column A. Don't forget, we're not interested in the number, just the sign. So pair one is going to be minus two, technically, but we're not interested in the two. We're just interested in the minus, so the sign is minus. So I'm just going to go ahead and do all of them so you can see what they would be. Okay, so there are our signs. So now it just comes down to counting them up. Our S value is determined by our least occurring sign, which is minus because only three of them turn up. So this is how you put it into an answer. Okay, and that's it. I hope it's all made sense. In the next video, we're going to focus on how to establish whether or not your S value is significant. So hang on for that one if you are interested. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope it's all been useful.